Happy Halloween, ghouls and gals. Welcome back to Crystal Clear on the Roundtable. I'm Osric Vox, and today I want to talk about something a little bit spooky. Since it's the end of the Halloween season, and it's the time of the year for peak spooking, I want to share you all a tale. An alternate timeline of events on how the cluster almost destroyed the Earth. A story not for the faint of heart. A tale that has to do with one Stephen Quartz universe, one amalgam of gem shards stuck together, and one blue diamond. Now, to properly get the idea of what I'm talking about, let's rewind back to Steven Universe Reunited and how one crucial decision changed an entire sequence of events. That if one simple thing out of Steven's control occurred, not only would he have never been knocked unconscious and unable to connect with the diamonds, but the entire Earth would have been destroyed and Garnet's wedding day would have had a tragic ending. Well, one that's already more tragic than the planet being invaded. And you may be asking, what or how? What is the one small detail that could have changed everything? I'm glad you asked! This spooky little detail that saved the Earth in hindsight was who the Diamonds decided to battle. Yellow Diamond decided to take on the Cluster, while Blue Diamond decided to take on the Crystal Gems. Now clearly who they decided to fight makes sense. The Cluster seems to be Yellow Diamond's pet project. While it appears as if White and Blue signed off on it, the highest interest lies within Yellow Diamond. Ever since her debut, she has been name dropping the cluster. She has been hyping this thing up. This is her moment. Whereas for Blue Diamond, she holds the Crystal Gems and Rose Quartz accountable for bringing upon the demise of Pink Diamond. While Yellow is suppressing her grief, Blue Diamond has no qualms of letting her grief consume her and influence all of her decisions. After all, she even says in Reunited, you deserve this, all of you. So it's a fair assumption they already decided who was gonna tackle what before they actually arrived. But what if they swap places? What if Blue Diamond arm wrestled with the cluster, assuming it formed an arm on the opposite side? And what if Yellow decided to blow off some steam on the Crystal Gems? So actually, let's start with Yellow Diamond. Put off the end of the world for a bit. Yellow Diamond would have absolutely curve stomped the Crystal Gems. They were barely able to put a scratch on Blue Diamond. And while the Diamonds have their own distinct way of combat, Yellow's is definitely a lot more straightforward and aggressive. Blue Diamond likes a long play, dragging things out and making them suffer, where Yellow just likes to get things over with. You saw how quickly she took care of Peridot and Lapis. Now to be fair, Garnet has been shown to harness the power of electricity. So perhaps there could be an advantage here against Yellow Diamond but that still doesn't do much for the rest of the Crystal Gems. No matter how you slice it, this was a fight they were going to lose. And if Yellow stepped into the ring first, Blue may have never even needed to join in. As for Blue Diamond against the Cluster, you may actually be thinking, Blue is nowhere near as aggressive as Yellow. And if the Cluster defeated Yellow Diamond, then Blue would never have stood a chance. And that's where you're wrong. While it is true that Blue Diamond may not have been able to put up a fight against the Cluster at first, Finding herself overwhelmed in arm wrestling, you would be dismissing Blue Diamond's greatest strength that would have thrown a wrench in the cluster. Her radiated pathokinesis. You know, she used it in a trial and all throughout Reunited. When Blue Diamond unleashes this ability, she engulfs those surrounding her, as long as her gem, or at least half gem with Steven, and forces upon them any emotion she's feeling. In her battle with the Crystal Gems, it was essentially weaponized depression, which Lapis shot right back at her. But this grief almost immediately rendered the Crystal Gems useless. They were paralyzed, unable to move. Garnet barely breaking through it. Not to mention that Alexandrite was torn apart upon contact. If this could happen against the Crystal Gems, then there's no way the Cluster can handle it. I think very early into a fight with the Cluster, I believe Blue Diamond would have unleashed her radiated pathokinesis. As we saw in both Gem Drill and moments before being popped and reunited, the Cluster is emotionally fragile, like really emotionally fragile. While all the different shards were able to keep it together long enough to only form an arm and fend off Yellow Diamond's ship, they were very exhausted. And Rebecca Sugar even stated on the Steven Universe podcast, the cluster was very uncomfortable restricting itself to an arm. Under Blue Diamond's influence, the cluster's mental state would have fell apart. I don't think the cluster would have retreated to its bubble. Instead, lose complete emotional stability no longer containing itself to just an arm. These emotions of sadness and anger, thousands and thousands of years of grief, the Cluster would have snapped, and from there, produced more and more of its physical form. And before you know it, the Earth would have been gone. However, this would have been disastrous for even the Diamonds. A fully formed Cluster under that kind of distress likely would sport animalistic instincts, and the Diamonds would have either been caught in collateral damage from the emergence, or would have felt the Cluster's wrath while trying to escape. If Blue Diamond simply fought the cluster instead of Yellow Diamond, it would have fully emerged, lost all self-control, destroyed every character we know and love, the Diamonds themselves, and before the cluster itself even fully took over, it's very probable Yellow Diamond would have shattered the Crystal Gems. And 
including Steven. I'm assuming he would've done the exact same thing of, hey, actually it's a funny story, but with blue and yellow separated, even if he did end up in the mindscape, he would've failed to appease both of them. The diamonds would've never discovered what really happened to Pink Diamond. Crypto Jones would've lost all hope at ever being healed, either being destroyed in the emergence or assimilated into the cluster as collateral damage, and the only living resident from Beach City would've been our donut boy, Lars Bariga. Imagine Lars finally, finally making it back to Earth, only to see everything gone. Everyone he knows and loves. Sadie, his parents, the cool kids, Steven, dead. Yellow and Blue would have never returned to Homeworld. White would have just been waiting and waiting while the cluster goes out and ravages the universe. At least, that's what I think would have happened. But what do you guys think? Do you believe Blue Diamond could have tamed the cluster if she went up against it? Why or why not? Let us know in the comments below or tweet your thoughts to me at AustrakVox or at RoundtableVids. If you went up the Roundtable Girl, support us on Patreon. Get access to exclusive perks and your name could be at the end of the video. Link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please throw it a like, share, and if you're new here, subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications to stay in the loop with all things Steven. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a happy Halloween. Ostrich Vox, out. <laughs> <laughs>